Welcome to the 2 Under 2 Shit Show, y'all. I'm about to show you how crazy shit gets during our night routine with 2 Under 2 baby girls. I have a one and a half year old baby girl and now I have a newborn. She's eight weeks old and she is perfect. Now, my newborn is an angel. My toddler is wild. If you're a mom, you know how it is. These toddlers are wild and at all times. I see your comments in YouTube shorts and I know you guys are saying, I need to be filming more long form. I see you, I hear you, I'm listening. We're back with a new camera, new content, new year. Let's do this. If you're new here, also don't forget to like this video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my good upcoming content. Shit is gonna get wild on my channel this year because I got two babies that make life so fun and so wild and we're gonna be in this together. We did just start with a new nanny, so that is super exciting. It was a very hard decision to make for me because if you know me, I like doing everything by myself, but you cannot take on the world by yourself. It takes a village. I got two babies, shit gets wild. My toddler falls every two seconds. If I turn my back, she falls. So I really needed to make the decision to hire some help around here for my mental sanity so I could get work done, so I could vlog for y'all, so I can edit, so I can be healthy, work out, all the things. So that's what we did. She started yesterday. She's here now, but she's about to go home. So I'm gonna bathe Lele the newborn and my toddlers with the nanny, they're just kind of winding down for the day. And then when we're done, she'll go home and we'll start this night routine. Let's go take a bath. This set is the most comfortable set I've ever bought. It's Calvin Klein, it's from Macy's, and I swear I could live in it. I would wear it every day if I could. A lot of people comment on how I'm able to do so much, get so much done. And honestly, you guys, my newborn is an absolute angel. Like sometimes we have our hard days, of course, everything's not perfect, but it really makes it easier because she sleeps so much. She's such a good eater. We don't have many struggles. I hope I don't jinx that by telling y'all that, but seriously, that is really why I'm able to get so much done. So if you're not, give yourself grace. If your newborn's giving you a hard time, it's normal. They are going through a hard time. Do not stress it. I'm about to bathe baby girl. I got my towel and my washcloth. Uh, let's go. Mm -hmm. I'm so obsessed with how babies look when they get out of the bathroom. Okay. You drive Brenda crazy today? Oh my goodness. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> say bye to Brenda. Bye. You want to go say bye? Give her hugs. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. Say bye. <laughs> okay. I'm about to make the fastest dinner ever. Lately, I just try to make anything that is fast and quick because she will lose her shit if I take too long in the kitchen. Or if I'm going to make something hard, I'll wait until the nanny's here. And she just started, so... I can now make things that take more time, but on the days that she's here. So anyways, we're gonna make burgers tonight. I'm gonna put her down in her high chair and then give her a little snack so she can stay put as long as possible. Mommy's gonna give you a snack, okay? This one. Which one? Pick. 
This one. Give me. Give me. Oh, no, you want this one too? Two. Two. Are you serious? Now she got both somehow. <laughs> Do you all see how crazy she is? She's out here wildin'. Show your fans how you act behind the camera. Wow. All of a sudden you're quiet. It's embarrassing, huh? That's right. Yes, it's a penguin. It's a penguin. Ha, ha. We're gonna slice some onion up for the grilled onion. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes. Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind. But I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go, like. So it's been about an hour now. It's literally 8:30, which is honestly pushing it because I've been trying to get her in bed by 8:30. But we're about to do bath time, so. I'm getting her PJs ready and just, yeah, just so that I can pull her out of the bath and get her dressed quick. Honestly, sometimes she throws like little tantrums during bath time because if I wait until she's too tired, then she's just like not having it and not having a good time. So that is why I really try to get her in the bath around like 7.38, but we're a little late today, so we might have some tantrums, but we'll just see. She's getting into trouble right now. She literally made a mess on the drawer and this is like our little craft drawer where I hide stuff from her that I do not want her playing with because it's dangerous. And she's trying to get into it. Can you close it, please? Close it, please. No, I said no. This is mine. I said no. Mommy said no, okay? This is usually when our night literally takes a turn for the worse because she, one, doesn't like to go to sleep, two, she's too tired for her bath and just is a toddler and is being crazy. And also sometimes the newborn will start crying while she's bathing and I kind of have to like figure out how to deal with both of them while I'm bathing her. So yeah, Lele is actually awake right now which gives me anxiety because that means that she probably might start crying but we'll just have to wait and see. I'm still gonna get her in the bath because she needs to get in there ASAP and we will figure things out. I honestly, no, we're not gonna do that. She's trying to get into the wipies. Honestly, I always have to mentally pump myself up for bedtime because I just know my girl is gonna cry when I bathe her, when I get her out, when I lotion her, when I clean her nose, when I brush her hair, like she just doesn't enjoy it. So she used to, I don't know what happened, but hopefully she grows out of it. Your mommy's gonna take your hair out. All done. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Can you sing to mom? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and... I'm bathing Aya and Layla's crying, so we have to go put the pacifier in. She's definitely not gonna stop, but we're just gonna try to prolong her hanging out for a little bit until I can get my toddler out of the bath. Oh, she's really crying. Okay. I feel like she might be still hungry. I don't know. So we'll see, but now my toddler's crying. Okay. Or else you can't eat lollipops. I know we waited too long. 
This is how we brush our teeth, brush our teeth. <laughs> This is about the same time every night that I start literally questioning all my choices in life. You just need to brush your hair. Last step. Last step. Baby, it's okay. It's okay. take both girls to put my toddler to sleep because usually she is sleeping in her bed but sometimes she is still hungry so right now is one of those times she's still hungry so I'm gonna just feed her <laughs> I'm gonna finish feeding her while I put my toddler to sleep and then by the time that she's asleep they'll both be asleep and I can get ready for bed we also moved my toddler into a toddler bed so I had to like safety proof her entire room because when she wakes up in the morning she plays in here for like 20 to 30 minutes by herself before we come to get her so I just want to make sure she's like not getting into anything so her room is pretty much empty and I'll show you guys but I do lock her closet because I moved her dresser in there and just all kinds of stuff so I lock her closet from the outside so she can't get in I was going to move the baby crib just completely out of here because she's not using it, but Lele will be moving into her room when she's six months old because I sleep train that way. So I figured there's no point in moving it out only to move it back in. So yeah, the crib is on that side of the room and then her bed's on this side. For Christmas, I got her this tent and I put her little Minnie Mouse couch in there, some books, some babies, like some toys. Nothing too crazy, just like so she can entertain herself for a bit in the morning and she really likes it. I was going to get her a super cute bed for her room and I just wanted to make this room such a vibe. But honestly, we are moving like I said and I wanted to get her excited to sleep by herself. So we figured since she loves Minnie Mouse, we would get her a Minnie Mouse bed and it honestly worked. She was so excited to get in this bed. My sister actually got the babies these Barefoot Dream blankets for Christmas. She got one for all of us, my husband and I included, and she got their names embroidered on it, and it is so cute. This is actually Aya's, but I'm putting it on Lele, and Lele's is really small, but I need to wash it. So anyways, let's lay the baby down. I'm using the Mama Roo bassinet, just in case anyone was wondering, and I absolutely love it. It's like a snood dupe, I guess. But yeah, I used it with my first baby and now my second and both of them are amazing sleepers. It could honestly just be luck and it could have nothing to do with the bassinet. But I absolutely love the bassinet. I love that it has like this sound machine on it and it has the movement, everything. It is so great and it keeps them nice and asleep. So that's a plus. Both girls are now sleeping while Lele is putting herself to sleep. She always does. So I just lay her down after I feed her, give her the chance to like self-soothe essentially. If she's really crying, then I'll go back and pick her up. But she honestly never does. She'll just kind of whine for a second and then go to sleep. That's what's going on right now. We're going to pick up the toy room, baby proof my toddler's room so she cannot get out by herself. I have to actually open the door for her which honestly is the safest option. I am just so scared of her leaving her room in the morning before I get up and like getting into something. So yeah, she's just really dangerous right now. When she calms down a little bit, I definitely won't mind her leaving and coming to the playroom. But right now it's not the safest option. So yeah, this is what our toy room looks like at the end of the night every day. I clean it probably like twice or three times a day because this is how it looks. She literally just absolutely wrecks it. Tell me what it is What you want from me What you want from me Tell me what it is, don't tell me what it ain't They try to throw salt, it just made the pressure raise Going through a phase, gotta get myself out of it don't I usually shower every single night before I go to sleep No matter what time it is, even if it's like 3am Just because that is what you should do 
but I actually showered this evening right before I got ready, so I don't need to shower. I'm just gonna take my makeup off, clean my face, and do my skincare. Let's do that. I usually use my cellar water to take off my makeup, but I'm actually all out, and I ordered some, but someone stole the package from my house, literally stole my cellar water, so we're just using some makeup wipes right now, and honestly, after I finish my skincare, I'm gonna order some because I really need it. I'm gonna wash my face and do my skincare and I'll be right back. I do plan to do an actual skincare video soon. I filmed one on my old camera, but the quality was so bad. I was like, I'm waiting for my new camera. Now it's here, so this week I will film that for you guys. As I was finishing my skincare last night, my husband actually came home and he totally distracted me from everything I was doing or planned because a lot is going on at work and he was kind of just like catching me up and we were chatting about it. So I totally forgot to close out the video and end the video and kind of chat with you guys what I was planning to kind of talk about. But I guess I will close that out here. So I hope you guys are enjoying the new content that I have planned for this year. And let me know always if there's anything specific you want to see from us. Absolutely love a structured and clean cut routine. I just feel like it helps you or me, myself personally, to thrive in life because there's no room for getting lazy and it is the perfect way to stay disciplined because let's be real, we're all humans and especially when you're a mom, you're always tired and drained. So it becomes very easy to get lazy only because you're so exhausted and you truly do deserve a break. So you're like, oh, I'm just gonna like sit down today. My body's like so tired, my brain's so tired. But honestly, it is so important to push through those moments and get things done anyways. So yeah, I feel like routines help you to get things done when you don't feel like it. It's very important. And that is one of my main goals this year is to be extremely disciplined because I find myself giving up on my really amazing routines and my like successes. I find myself going backwards every time I have a really bad day or week. And yeah, you know those days where it just feels like everything is going wrong. I'll find myself like, oh, I'm not gonna film anything today or like I'm not gonna do any work. I am not going to be productive. I'm not going to fill my cup. I just like allow myself to be lazy and I tell myself that like that's what I need in that moment. But when I look back, I'm like, is that really what I needed? Because it didn't charge my battery at all. Instead of setting some like New Year's resolutions and making these huge goals, which I always have huge goals and I am always manifesting and practicing things like that. But instead of doing all of that for like the new year, I am actually just like really making promises to myself to make a change, small changes that will make a huge difference in my life. Just small things that I'm like super unhappy with that I do often. I really wanna make it a goal to be more in tune with like how I feel and why I feel that way and figure out, yeah, like my hormones and just where I'm at in life and how I can improve all the time. So anytime I find myself unhappy with something, I just really plan to like fix it and be a problem solver instead of a complainer. I really hope you guys are all implementing really amazing habits into this next year. It's going to be so beneficial and if you really stick to it, you'll really see a change in your life and overall happiness. So yeah, we're in this together. Let me know what you want to see from us next and in the future because it really just helps me, like I said. And thank you guys so much for staying with my family, watching my content, engaging with my content. It seriously means the world to me and I am planning to do a lot of giveaways in the near future because... I just want to give back to you guys and grow even more this year. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to engage with it, like it, comment down below all the things. It really does help my channel grow. You guys are off to the best start in this new year and all the good vibes and good energy to flow your way. Good vibes for 2024? Can you say good vibes? Bye.